The Castle of Tigers travelled to Headingley on Friday night to face local rivals, the Leeds Rhinos. Now, Brian McLennan's men have by no means had it easy in their recent uh, Super League games against Castleford, and they, of course, were hoping to make it difficult for them and help their own playoff ambitions. Andy Giddings has this. The Leeds Rhinos recorded their biggest ever win over the Castleford Tigers to go level on points with St Helens. The Rhinos opened the scoring when Scott Donnell went over, a platform earlier laid by Rob Burrows 40-20. There was little indication of what was to follow though, as the Tigers soon hit back, Langley Chase starting a move that was rounded off well by James Evans. So Castleford led, but it would prove to be joy short-lived. Five minutes later, after sustained pressure, Ryan Hall got his first. Danny Maguire instrumental in the build-up. Keith Senior denied at first. But after a swift play the ball, the Castleford Tigers were completely outfoxed down the blind side by Ryan Hall. The tone of the evening had now been set. The Rhinos, swift and merciless, soon went in again. Hall got his second. He's seen you with the final pass. The England wing was enjoying a great night and better was to follow. When you're down on your luck and heading for a hiding, the last thing you need is to see Brent Webb at his scintillating best. This was try number four, seven minutes before half-time. So there was plenty of time for try number five. Ali Lauatiti evading capture before Senior made Hall's hat-trick a formality. 26-6 at the break to Leeds, decidedly out of sorts, Castleford soon conceded again. Brent Webb's excellent kick plucked out of the air by Lee Smith. The result was long since decided, but Castleford briefly stemmed the tide as Rangi Chase weaved his way over. The lead Rhinos swiftly hit back. They were at their punishing best, and they would eventually go on to embarrass Castleford. Kylie Lulawai bulldozed over, allowing Kevin Sinfield to add his 1,000th career goal. Ryan Hall, the night star turn, then got his fourth try and leads eighth, latching onto a loose pass. He would then race the length of the field unheeded, and the record books were beginning to be dusted down and opened. Danny Maguire then brilliantly set up Brent Webb for his second try of the night. The Castleford Tigers uncharacteristically in tatters, and it was to get worse for Terry Matteson, who branded the performance unacceptable. Leeds were nothing short of excellent, but the Tigers provided an easy opposition, as first Rob Burrow went in for try number 10. Before Jamie Peacock got try number 11. Hall then got his fifth try, becoming only the third player in Super League history to achieve such a feat for the Rhinos, as he was put in by Brent Webb. From a player who will undoubtedly score lots of tries to a player who got his first, Michael Ratu would round off a sweeping move in the dying stages. And there was still time for one more in the final seconds. The possession was completed for the Rhinos when Scott Donald went on a mazy run down the wing. He then brought in Jamie Peacock, who found Brent Webb. And Ali Lawatiti showed the Rhinos were in no mood to ease off, held up just short. But a moment of petulance from Castleford Tigers' Ryan McGoldrick delaying the play the ball earned him a yellow card for his troubles and was only really denying the inevitable. You can understand his wish for a swift exit from this one. And Lauer TT was not to be denied a second time. So great joy for the Leeds Rhinos who reaffirm their grand final credentials. For Castleford, they have plenty to do before they entertain Wigan in the next round. How do you explain a result like that, Yeston? Fatigue, tiredness, um, I just thought it was downright awful. Uh, mm. I thought defensively they were poor, they were all over the shop, they didn't know, you know who was defending where. Um, yeah, Leeds were good, 
uh, and we all know Le what Leeds can do, but if you give them an inch, they'll take a mile, and that's exactly what happened, and they've got some big, big issues now. The, the three weeks off the playoffs, they're sitting in eighth spot, so they've still got an opportunity to get in that top eight, but if they perform like that, they're going to slip out pretty quickly. Yeah, well, when you look at it, Robbie, you know, goal difference, points difference might might be absolutely crucial. And they've had a bit of a whack there against Leeds, they've had a bit of a whack against St Helens. They may prove very costly. Yeah, and these are the things that you factor in at the beginning of the season. That's why um, a lot of coaches will set goals of um, how much points they're going to give up uh, per game and how much uh, points they're going to score per game. But I don't think any coach says, oh, let's try and keep the opposition within 60 points. <laughs> uh, it's, those sort of games are weird because it, 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 it creates a downward spiral. You know, everyone tries to outwork for each other. When things start going bad, you, you try too hard sometimes. And then uh, your defensive line starts becoming like a corrugated iron defense structure. You lose your line. Players are all over the place. And, um, you know, it's hard to dig yourself out of it. And then, obviously, leads on the flip side of that, they grow a leg. Everyone starts getting try hungry. Everybody mm. turns up full press on um, on support play and everything. And then, I mean, you're chasing your own tail at the end of the game. The thing about it is that uh, normally at this stage of the season, one side is beginning to really buzz. We're not getting that, are we? No, I think Leeds just proved what they can do. Uh, you know, Ryan Hall is in outstanding form, isn't he? In five tries, that's an amazing feat from him. But you know, St. Helens are starting to play together, starting to group together. Huddersfield. Um, you know, I think it's really good, isn't it? The sort of top eight. You're not quite sure who's going to get to the grand final this time, and that's probably the first time we've had that. By this stage of the season now, it's usually St Helens and Leeds over the last two or three years that are just a country mile in front of mm. everybody else, and that's not the case this time. So, you know, I think it's really good. Yeah, makes it a great season.